Welcome to the Shika Serbu Motor Channel. This channel provides easy to understand explanations of car mechanisms. In 2024, Honda announced the revival of the Prelude. The Honda Prelude is a two-door coupe that was produced across five generations from 1973 to 2001. The sixth-generation Prelude, set to go on sale in 2025, will feature a 2.0-liter naturally aspirated engine, paired with a two-motor hybrid system, with an S-plus shift, a simulated eight-speed gear shifting function. What is a simulated gear shifting function? Before understanding simulated gear shifting, let's first look at what happens during shifting, using a simplified model of a two-speed manual transmission vehicle. The gear ratio for first gear is 0.5, and for second gear, it is 1.0. The gear is currently in first, and the driver has depressed the accelerator pedal, causing the engine rotation speed and vehicle speed to increase. When the engine reaches 5,000 RPM, the input shaft speed is 5,000 RPM, while the output shaft connected to the tires is at 2,500 RPM. To shift up to second gear, the clutch is first disengaged. To prevent engine over revving, the accelerator pedal is released to lower the engine rotation speed, at the same time the clutch is disengaged. When the transmission is shifted into second gear, the input shaft speed decreases by 2500 RPM. When the clutch is engaged, the engine rotation speed is increased to 2500 RPM by the vehicle's inertia. During this time, the vehicle does not accelerate and maintains a constant speed. When the driver depresses the accelerator pedal again, the vehicle resumes acceleration. During a downshift, the driver releases the accelerator pedal. When the driver depresses the clutch pedal, the engine speed decreases. When shifted into first gear, the input shaft speed increases to 5000 revolutions per minute. To eliminate shift shock, the driver depresses the accelerator pedal to bring the engine speed to 5,000 revolutions per minute. When the clutch is engaged, the downshift is complete. In automatic transmissions, although the clutch, shift, and throttle valve operate automatically, the same actions are performed. To put it simply, Simulating a gear shift requires momentarily interrupting acceleration and reducing engine rotation speed during an upshift, while momentarily interrupting deceleration and increasing engine rotation speed during a downshift. Let's take a look at how Honda's hybrid system, which lacks a transmission and does not mechanically connect the engine to the tires, simulates gear shifting. Honda 2 motor hybrid system has a mode where the engine is directly connected to the output to the tires but this is unrelated to the simulated gear shifting function. So, we will disregard it in this video. If you're not familiar with Honda's two-motor hybrid system, we recommend watching the video, Series Hybrid, Honda vs. Nissan first. You'll find the link in the description. The engine is connected to the generator, while the electric motor is connected to the tires. Therefore, the engine and the tires are not mechanically connected. This means that the engine's rotation has no effect on the rotation of the tires. And the tire's rotation has no effect on the engine's rotation. When the driver depresses the accelerator pedal, the motor speed increases along with the engine rotation speed. Since the system is shifted into a simulated first gear, when the engine reaches 5000 revolutions per minute, the motor speed is 2500 revolutions per minute. When the driver operates the shift up paddle, the electric motor maintains 2,500 revolutions per minute. Acceleration is interrupted, simulating a neutral gear state. At this point, the engine must reduce its rotation speed in preparation for the shift up. Since an electronic throttle valve is equipped, the engine rotation speed can be reduced, even if the driver keeps depressing the accelerator pedal. But this does not create a sharp shift up feel. For this reason, the inverter temporarily increases the generator's power output. The generator, under a heavy load, applies a braking force to the engine. This quickly reduces the engine speed. 
When the engine speed is increased again, along with the motor speed synchronized to it, the simulated shift up is complete. During a simulated downshift, it is necessary to increase the engine speed while maintaining the motor speed. There is also a method to increase the engine speed by opening the throttle valve. But in this system, it seems that the generator is operated as a drive motor to raise the engine speed. Once the engine and motor are synchronized again, the simulated downshift is complete. Let's simulate this system and engine sound. Please note, this engine sound is created using an engine sound simulator, and is not from a prelude. For those interested, there is a link in the description to an engine sound simulator, that allows you to create engine sounds based on cylinder configuration, displacement, and other factors. Have you been able to understand the workings of simulated shift up and shift down, as well as the function of the generator? During shift up, the power generation is increased to lower the engine speed. While during shift down, the generator operates as a motor to raise the engine speed. Many Prelude test drive reports have been uploaded to YouTube. To see real simulated gear shifting in action, check those out. Honda is not the only automaker employing a simulated gear shifting function. For example, Hyundai has implemented an 8-speed simulated gear shifting function in the Ionic 5, a pure battery EV that doesn't even have a transmission, let alone an engine. Subaru has added an 8-speed simulated gear shifting function to its continuously variable transmission which does not use conventional gears. Lexus LC500 adds a 4-speed automatic transmission to its continuously variable hybrid system, enabling a 10-speed simulated gear shifting function. Hmm. It seems that some automakers believe drivers love unnecessary gear shifts. Even though it's fake. What do you think about that? Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to the channel. We'll see you in the next video.